Now we will show you how to place and check out orders in the floor table view for customers that are dining in. So we'll just go to the floor table view and let's say we have a customer on table 7 and we'll just um, place their drink order and then their food order and now if we just click print and place order that will make sure that the order is placed and it prints in the bar for the beer and in the kitchen for the cheeseburger actually we'll print uh, three slips one goes in the bar uh, one goes in the kitchen and one goes uh, in the front on the ordering station for the uh, waiter to have their own copy so I'll go ahead and do that right now click print and place order and that finalizes the order well actually it's a running tab so then you know uh, you can see this table now is occupied color and these lighter tables are of the available color so this is obviously an occupied table if you ever want to come back to it you know you can go ahead and serve other customers do whatever come back to it and just click here you want to uh, kind of like remind yourself of what is there on this table you can just click view existing order now uh, the reason why usually um, you know this screen in here will be empty is because it, every time you revisit a table that's occupied like this uh, it's ready to order more so let's say the person wants to order one more beer you know same thing print and place order you know go back you don't have to go back I'm just simulating you know uh, you're going on about other business if you want to view existing order now you're gonna see that there's in the order there's two bottles of beer so um, now if uh, your customer is ready to check out and they want to have um, let's say a tentative receipt on their table brought to their table to see what they owe you uh, you can use this button that says print table invoice you can do this one also print uh, invoice with a tip line and uh, that will just print a tentative receipt it doesn't check the amount it doesn't void the order or nothing at all until they're uh, literally ready to pay that's when you use the checkout button and that places the entire order on the checkout screen as you can see the order exactly as it was placed with all the modifiers in here and um, all you do is hit tender of course you know how to check out we'll just skip this screen for now in the interest of time now I'd like to show you um, how to do a bar order which is pretty much the same as the table orders however uh, a bar uh, however in this example I also want to show you how to split the order uh, how to split the uh, the invoice the bill among multiple people let's say we have like three people on bar stool number 10 you know they're gonna order beers let's say three people order three beers right so print and place order and everybody has one beer right so if we you know if they're ready to check out if they're not ordering anymore uh, but they want to split this bill into multiple uh, bills then we'll go to the split this bill option or button and this simply asks you this is the entire order on the left side and it's simply asking you who's ready to check out first and what are they paying for and that's what we put on the right side so let's say this one guy had one beer he wants to check out and we check them out then the next guy we're still gonna split see if you wanna check in here there's two beers left so we're still gonna split the bill the second guy pays for his own of course if there's more items in here we'll put whatever they had check out and finally the third guy see there's just one beer left in here check out 
or you know since this is the last guy and everything goes to them you can either do this or you can just hit checkout in here because there's only one item or only their items left on the table and you check them out and that's how you split a bill